Do libertarian students respect the Constitution? And this does say that it's government's job to provide for the common defense. Good. People do want to kill us. I say if they're going to kill me, I want them to kill them first. But does that mean that our president can send machines to fly over, say, Pakistan? We haven't declared war on Pakistan. Send drones that kill a thousand people because Pentagon officials say these people are terrorists? Yes, says the American government, and former UN Ambassador John Bolton says it is morally right to kill these people with drones, and we are safer because of it. It doesn't seem morally right to just take the word of some government officials that this guy's a terrorist and send a machine to kill him and to kill civilians along with it. Well, the whole point of the war on terror uh, at, from the perspective of the terrorist is to abuse the rules we have tried to create over hundreds of years to separate combatants from innocent civilians. So the war on terror is different from traditional state-to-state -state war, but the commander-in-chief authority vested by the Constitution in the president gives him the direction over the war capabilities of the United States. And his efforts, both in the Bush and the Obama administration, to go after the terrorists, I think is entirely justified both by the Constitution uh, and by our inherent right of self-defense. So America can kill anybody anywhere? Of course not. Listen to what I just said. The Constitution gives the president the commander-in-chief authority, subject to congressional check through the appropriations process, to defend the United States against attack. But I don't get how that's an answer. Does that mean if You he... said, can the president kill anybody anywhere? And the obvious answer is no. But if these people are identified as a threat to America? If, if they are part of the terrorist attack that has been uh, the, the effort that's been waged against the United States these last 20 years, yes. But don't you think that makes us new enemies, that when the drone sends something down that kills a group of people, they kill children and cousins? And doesn't that make new terrorists who will try to kill us? Look, I believe that our military does everything that it can to avoid civilian casualties. That is not uh, uh, avoidable sometimes because of the way the terrorists conduct themselves, living among civilians. And the polling shows most Americans support your position. A Washington Post poll, 83% support using drones, 79% against American citizens. So you students, I'm sure you want to weigh in here. Your comments for John Bolton. Hi, I'm Ben Martins from George Mason University. Uh, you said drones are justified because the president, subject to congressional authority, has the duty to defend American citizens. Ignoring for a moment the question of morality on drones, do you really think he's been subject to that much congressional authority? Look, the, 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 framers, the framers of the Constitution had just won our country's independence by war. They knew what the threat was that we faced as a small country. They knew we needed an energetic capability to defend ourselves. Uh, they wanted a strong commander-in-chief. They created a Congress that had power over the purse, the principal check on the president's war-making power. And that check is there. If Congress doesn't want to wage war against the Taliban, against Al-Qaeda, against whomever, they can cut off funding for it. Thank you. Yes. Um, my name is Daniel Beer. I'm a student at Rutgers University. John mentioned uh, a large majority of Americans support giving the president the authority to kill uh, American citizens without charges or trial or due process. Um, my question is, if you were identified as a threat by some nameless official in the administration, would you want due process? Look, the issue is not the... I don't think they would name him. They might name me. Hypothetically. The, the issue is whether we are in a war situation, whether we are operating under the war powers of the Constitution or whether we're in a law enforcement situation. The two have radically different approaches. We killed tens of thousands of American citizens, maybe hundreds of thousands, with no due process whatever in the Civil War. And it was the right thing to do.